Hi, welcome. So in this session, we are going to install Jenkins in our Ubuntu 20 server, which we installed in our previous session. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So this is our Ubuntu server, which we installed in our earlier session. So first thing what can do is can log in as the sudo user. I have listed down all these steps in here. Follow easily by one and let us go ahead and run all these commands to install our Jenkins server. First thing what we can do is we can actually log in as sudo user. Otherwise, is going to be I need to be providing the sudo user and I need to provide the passwords every time so let us log in as our sudo user first or okay so the requirement for installation of Jenkins is basically you just need to have the Java in your Linux server you can have either Java 8 or Java 11 Java 8 or Java 11 if you go to this link you just uh, mentioned clearly so what we'll do is we will use the Java 11 and it's good to use the latest one since we are learning so let's first see the java dash version and it doesn't show anything because we don't have java and it gives us an option of uh, what all java and options this is good about ubuntu which really gives us how to install and all these things if java is not found okay so let us go ahead and install our java so this is the command apt install open jdk 11 and so if you are not logged in logged in as root sudo user you would have needed to provide the sudo the start of this command so in the end i have provided the minus y so that it i don't need to provide a yes yes every time it is required for an input so i hit and Enter, hit enter and it starts the installation be pretty fast based on your network connection still in progress okay so it's near finish okay seems to be done so now let us go ahead and check the java version again now you see the java version here open jdk version 11014 so this is all good now so next let us go ahead and import the gpg keys for the jenkins repository so this is the command for that let's copy this and let's first clear the screen paste it here okay so after you do this command it should give you an okay here so next ubuntu actually doesn't know where to get all the different binaries for jenkins so we just need to add the jenkins repository to the system using this command okay so it doesn't give any output but uh, it would have already added otherwise it would have given a thrown an error so next thing is we need to run this apt get update let's try to run this command and everything seems to be fine okay so finally we can run our command apt install jenkins minus y so hit enter and it starts the installation so the size is around 91 MB and based on your connection, internet connection, it's going to take the time. Okay. So seems to be the installation is already done. So actually we can check if the Jenkins is running or not. Can use this ps minus ef command for Jenkins and see here uh, one process is already running for Jenkins and the user is Jenkins. So that means one when we install this Jenkins, it would have already created a Jenkins user and started to run using that user. So and the port here it shows is 88. The main command to check for Jenkins is system CTL. That is that system CTL status and you can see the active status here running and Q press Q quit. Let us clear this screen before going to the console. Let us check if Git is already installed in system because we needing this Git for checking out code from our GitHub or Bitbucket or any of the other Git servers. Okay, so Git is already installed by default is machine, and if it is not installed, you can use this apt install git command this system and it should install your Git for this server. Okay, so the other thing which I wanted to talk is. We need to enable the Jenkins to start whenever there, whenever we reboot the server, it should start our Jenkins server. For that, we need to run this command systemctl enable Jenkins and it should start up Jenkins whenever this machine reboots. So the other command is systemctl start Jenkins, system systemctl stop Jenkins. These are the other commands which start Jenkins and then if you want to stop Jenkins, you can do stop Jenkins. These commands are going to help you in starting and stopping jenkins if ever you want that so i will just note it down here stem ctl start jenkins and then stem ctl stop jenkins so these commands you need to know if ever you want to stop or start your jenkins server and of course the status is for checking the status of your jenkins server so let us go ahead to jenkins now and open our jenkins console to configure it for the first time so if config is the same ip which we set to static ip the last session so d80 and hit enter and you see the jenkins console where we need to set the password and install the other necessary things for this so you see the here it has provided us with the path of the initial password so we can go to our machine and we can do a cat just paste this whole path file and get the password 
So just copy that one, paste it here, and you continue and goes us to customize Jenkins. Over here, we have an option of install suggested plugin or install plugins. Select plugins install. So we will be using the install suggested plugins. If ever we need to do later, we can install the other plugins. So most of the time, the suggested plugin itself will do most of our work. So just select this install suggested plugin and we'll start install all the plugins and the other configurations. So again, based on your internet connection, it's going to take a few minutes to install all these plugins and get add with the next page okay so all the plugins installation has been done and we are provided with the admin user creation page so here we can provide our logins provide some username password and let's provide an email id also so 20 and then we can click save and continue and you have an option of changing the port here we are not supposed to change the ip address it's going to stick to that server and we have only one ip address on that machine so you have an option of changing the port here 8080 if you want you can change it click on save and finish finally you see the start using Jenkins here click on that and then go to the home page of Jenkins from here you can start to create jobs and set up agents and other configurations which you can do so that we will start to see from our next session so that's all in this session it's pretty simple to install Jenkins in a Linux machine so thank you and see you in the next session